Hey, what is up guys? Brennicus here, and welcome back to my Batman the Telltale series playthrough. Um, this is going to be the final episode, episode 5. If you want to see episodes 1 through 4, as always, link will be in the description below, so you can go catch up. And as always, links will be in the description, so you can go uh, try it out for yourself on mobile, uh, console, and PC. All links will be down below. Um, but yeah, like I said, this is the final episode of the T Batman the Telltale series. Um, and then we'll be moving on to Batman the Enemy Within, which is the sequel to the series. But episode 5, the finale, City of Light. The battle for control of Gotham intensifies, reaching a fevered pitch as Bruce discovered or, or discovers a renewed sense of purpose. And Batman finds himself pushed to the limits in a de desperate effort to restore order. Now, that sounds like a pretty damn good finale uh, to the series. But without further ado, we're going to get right into this. We're going to see how it all ends. And see where we're going to leave off for Season 2, The Enemy Within. Previously on Batman The Telltale Series. It's obvious that's why Vicky hates you. Yeah, we met Joker in the last part, which I was really happy about. Bump off her parents! Mm. Why would my father have the veils killed? I never said he killed the Vales. She was born in Arkham. Victoria Arkham. Oh. So where are you gonna go? I've got some other business I need to take care of. Of course you do, Cap. Selena. Oh yeah, that was shocking. What did you do? I destroyed Lady Arkham's drugs, but the innocent people were a small price to pay. Oh, really? <laughs> you don't understand, Batman. Without me, Gotham is doomed. Hmm. Thank God he was finally stopped. Nice work, Batman. My job's not done yet. I still need to find Lady Arkham before it's too late. Bruce, all of your bat tech is linked to this computer. If you take it offline, it will all be inoperable. If Penguin hacks in, he'll have. Wait, to Lucius wasn't there. We didn't say down. we didn't. We told Lucius to stay at Wayne Enterprises. That doesn't make any sense. Maybe that's just the, the general previously on Batman the Telltale series, because um, you can either choose for Lucius to come work for you at the Batcave or stay at Wayne Enterprises. Which we did, but, um, that, that might just be a general cutscene thing. Whew. Five days later. Oh, breaking news. Oh, yeah. Gotham citizens, including Police Commissioner Peter Grogan, who was taken while attempting to intervene. Ooh. I repeat, the children of Arkham have taken hostages. I didn't really like him anyways. The boss says it's time to get the bat's attention. No, please. No, please. Oh no. Oh, I rushed to get my finger up to that keyboard. <laughs> right on time. Oh, shoot. Oh, yeah. Can't just leave these people. Hey, there's your buddy. Catch your buddy. <laughs> really, you wanna? You really wanna? It's a trap! It's a trap! Oh no! What happened? What's happening to our suit? Hey, I pressed the button and we still got hurt. Hit. Oh wait. So we can see, I see it. Yeah. 
Nah. Nah. Oh, shit. <gasps> no. <laughs> get him. Let's get him. Payback. It's a real B. Wait, wait, I will. I will, man. Don't save worry. I will save our city. I will. I promise. I didn't like you anyways. But still. Oh, will she? He's gone. He's gone. Oh, no. And so are we. <laughs> I guess since our suit is comprised of a lot of tech, it was... Maybe that was supposed to mess with it. Oh, damn. <laughs> he just has a flip phone. That's great. God. With the comms offline, I've no idea what's happening out there. I always fear the worst. I need to get back to the Batcave. Figure out Penguin's next move. I can't let him keep hurting innocent... Oh, no. Booby. Well, that didn't work. The armor. Oh, that's cool. As ever. Thanks. Must be you well, huh? What's your point? My point is, you're at the end of your rope. Uh. You can't even stop me off as a police commissioner. <laughs> Without your toys, you're nothing. Just turn yourself over to my men. Scouts on them, they'll go easy on you. I don't need toys to deal with the likes of you. <laughs> I'm that good, man. Because from the look of it, you could use a little help. Ta ta, Batman! Booyah! Well. We showed him. I love that. If I can just find a way to hack into it, I can get to Penguin. Hmm. Tear out. Oh my God. He'll never learn, I think I heard him say. Machine guns. Armor piercing rounds. These could tear the city apart. Oh yeah. Those were definitely not there because he doesn't kill. The original model. And this, at least modern day Batman doesn't. If you if you've read about like the older comics, which I've never read the older comics, but I've read about it, that he's actually used guns in the past in the comics before. But that was in the very beginning of his life, man. Oh. Mm. Another trap. One of his men used a device that targeted my armor. If Penguin has more devices like that, the bat suit will be a liability. Mm. It's already in bad shape. It couldn't protect me from a knife, let alone Penguin's new arsenal. If Batman can't take the fight to Penguin, maybe Bruce Wayne can. No. Face Penguin as Bruce. That's actually pretty smart. Without your armor, you'll be more vulnerable. But far from helpless. Penguin thinks he knows me, but he has no idea what I'm really capable of. He certainly doesn't. And that may be his undoing. Yep. Hell yeah. Besides, I won't be going alone. Get Gordon on the line. Give him our files on Oswald Cobblepot. Tell him that we did a little digging after he took my position as CEO. He should know who really killed Commissioner Grogan. And that the killer will be in Cobblepot Park. Tell him that Bruce Wayne will meet him there. <laughs> Lieutenant, these officers are at risk. Penguin is. Wayne, get back! Oh, yep. He tried. 
Retreat, bitches. Come on, retreat. Martinez. Martinez. I saw some kind of transmitter hidden behind the statue. Hey, give us room. A transmitter. Wayne Tech. Controlling the drones. God damn it! Some of my officers are still in there. I'm not gonna let some two-bit thief kill my men. If you can destroy the transmitter, Oswald loses control of the drones. Mm. There's no way yeah. to get to it. You heard Martinez. Lieutenant, you need a distraction. I can keep him talking while you get into position. How the hell are you gonna do that? I don't think listening to the guy who publicly attacked him is at the top of his priority list. Oswald and I grew up together. A little trip down memory lane could buy you at least a couple minutes. Yeah, it That's could. well and good, but he wants you dead. Trust me, Lieutenant. I'm your best shot at getting those officers out alive. This is insane. But I'm all out of options. I'll go in around the back. If he sees me... He won't. I'll keep him focused on me. You will get your chance. Keep the perimeter tight. If he suspects anything before those drones are offline, we're both dead. Yep. Same yep. device that fried the suit. Yeah, that's... It's a hell of a trap, Oz. Let's walk in. Walk in and like a boss, you know how it is. I did you know how I do. Hmm. It, can they detect like firearms in their hands? Oh, flashback to. Those bullies aren't coming back. They better not. Oh, oh. They say bad things about my family. I'll smash the thumb faces. Stop us, please. Mm. I'll smash all the thumb faces. Damn. Get the word out, eh? All the channels. The penguins got Episode five. Bark. City of Light. Oswald. Bruce! Welcome. The pigs are making it hard to bring in the bay for Batman. Huh? But now that you're here, I have the perfect law. Oh, yep. <laughs> he doesn't suspect the thing. Not that a thing. A thing. What does bring you by? Hmm? Never known a Wayne to stick his neck out. I've come to talk, Oz. Why don't we it's talk? A bit late in the day for that. Uh, are you sure? It's only like six thirty. Come on. I'm chuffed you popped by. Well, so far only Gotham's finest have bothered to show. They paid for sticking their snouts in where they don't belong. You know, I'm surprised Batman's not already here to save you. I don't worry about it. He's usually so on top of everything. Maybe I need to cause a few more screams. Might be closer than Maybe you he's think. closer than you think. Mm. Just waiting for his moment to strike. Oh, we'd know if he was. I've arranged quite the sounding light show for his arrival. And when he arrives, oh ho ho! The lights, the sounds. The blood running into the gutters. Once he's out of the picture, there'll be nothing left in our way. I sure Mine, huh? or Lady Arkham's. She's hmm. got some pretty big ideas for the city, and they're about to kick into gear. Lady Arkham doesn't care about you, Oz. <laughs> She's just using you. distracted him. Awesome. Oh, got an understanding, her and I. I don't know right about all this brouhaha. It wasn't so long ago that you and me met in his very park. Mm -hmm. Me crawling out of the gutter. 
You, looking down from on high. Take a gander at us now, eh? Night and day. You'd hardly recognize us, would you? I always treated you with respect, Oz. Seems respect? like it. Oh, don't make me laugh. You only learned a word after I tossed you out of your company. Wouldn't be some kind of plan, would it? You working with the bat? Did you really come here all alone, Bruce? I don't need Batman's help to bring you down. <laughs> you hear that, Batman? <laughs> Someone normally more than himself. Not that I don't think you can handle yourself. You certainly do know how to beat down an unarmed bat. I mean, the drug only reveals your true feelings. Oh yeah, it does. They're like you were working out some issues there, hey Bruce. I am truly sorry for what happened, Oz. I never meant to hurt you so badly. I, I was drugged. And... You? Any me? Half the one on top now, Bruce. And it's about bloody time. Mm. Your father locked my mum in Arkham Asylum to steal a fortune. He drove my own dad to suicide. The Wayans caused the ruin of my entire bloody family. Enough of this! You trying to get me oh. shaken up? I'm not waiting any longer. That man be down. We done the chat, old friend. I'm releasing these drones. He'll make mud out of you and all the lawmen around this park. Oh, let's antagonize. You deserved Arkham. You heard me. She was insane, unfit to walk the streets, and you know it. I'll kill you! I'll kill you, you... Oh, bloody hell! <laughs> Here we go! He underestimates us. Let's... G it's go time. Kobe! Oh, no. Um... Yeah. Oh. That's why I need to fucking... <laughs> I need a can. Those bloody pigs. How's this for an answer? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Is that all you've got? Show some dignity and defeat, Oswald. <laughs> Freedom is right. I gotta admit, you surprised me. You were right about this one. Gotham owes you a debt. The GCPD does too. I won't forget it. Thank you. Let's settle for a beer. Yeah, I think we can make that happen. <laughs> you think this changes anything, do ya? Lady Arkham's gonna have your heads served up on a platter. He has a point. We just took down Lady Arkham's top man. She's not gonna stand for this. Yeah. No, she isn't. That's I right. thought I'd say this, but... I hope to God that Batman has a better idea where she is than we do. Sadly, we do not. What a great intro to the episode. This is the finale. Let's see how it all lands. Hell yeah. Hoorah. Hmm. How go the repairs? Going offline kept Penguin from finding the Batcave. But it also scrambled our system. The Bat computer barely runs, and worse. Most of my tech isn't working. It's going to take time to get everything up and running again. If it gets running again, it's going to make tracking down Lady Arkham a hell of a lot harder. You've proven that you don't need armor or gadgets to help this city. In the end, 
Bruce Wayne was the one to stop Penguin. Very true. Bruce, these last few weeks, I worry about the toll they've taken on you. Facing off against Harvey and Oswald in a matter of days. Hmm. Not just the physical toll. It's been about a week since we've faced Harvey. <laughs> Those were men you once trusted. And after finding out what you did about your father, people must seem a great disappointment to you. Always letting you down even those whom you admire not everyone is like my father or Oswald and what Harvey became well, it wasn't by choice mm. and me everything that happened I could have stopped it if I'd done something all those years ago oh yeah this this is my fault all of it. Oh, don't blame I yourself, you Al. I wanted to leave your father's employ. Al, but don't, don't, I don't blame yourself. to do something instead. Your mother, she wanted that. Wanted to put an end to his crimes. If I'd helped her, if I'd stopped Thomas, none of these horrors would have occurred. Lady Arkham, Oswald, even Harvey. Whose fault it is doesn't matter. Oh. What does is that we stop them. Yep. Hoo All right, sir. The children of Arkham are still out there, and Lady Arkham. With both Penguin and Mayor Dent off the board, she's the only remaining piece. We need to figure out her next move. The only thing we do know is that she moved on from her plan to poison the city. With Penguin gone and my CEO access restored, I can finally log into Wayne Enterprises. And see exactly what Oswald was doing during his time in charge. If I cross-reference that with all the data we have on Vicky Vale, we might be able to figure out the children of Arkham's next move. Alrighty, so we got the error. Oh, damn it. I can't access the news feed. Well, that's I need to get this sucks. working again. Okay, let's um Damn it. Is there Still offline. But we can't access the codex. I need to get this working again. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Cool. Um. Your administrative access to Wayne Enterprises should have been reinstated by now, along with your title of CEO. Awesome. We're back in. We're back in the driver's seat in Wayne Enterprises. Master Cobblepot's sense of humor hasn't changed much since you were boys. Can we just see what he was doing? Hmm, surveillance. Penguin was tapping into surveillance systems across Gotham. Any building using Wayne Tech security could be spied on from the CEO's office. Oh wow, that's How some is major that points. different than the back door into the Wayne network that he uncovered? That's not... Unless... Hold on. Um, let's go to real estate Oswald next. Was, was trying to buy an island. <laughs> What on earth for? Looks like he was using his new legal control of Carmine Falcone's assets and likeness to brand the place. It's some kind of tourist attraction. He was going to Penguin World. Falcone Island. Aw. Probably it's gonna be like a Disney World type of thing. Hmm. We need to figure out Lady Arkham's next move. Yes. Of course. An intro oh. report. Oswald certainly wasn't very frugal with my money. Mm. So you have a few yachts to return, it appears. Also explains how the children of Arkham had a seemingly endless supply of guns. Oh, yeah. Oswald was using Wayne money to arm them. Oswald altered several public records using the Wayne network. Oswald manipulated my records as well. Oh, wow. It would appear your degree was in... Sociology. I actually it took a sociology course at um a couple semesters ago in college. So it was interesting. Diseases. It's an interesting class, I have to say. Ah, oh, oh, that's better. Oswald no surprise here. Oswald wiped away any trace of his criminal records. Well, yeah, he had to to uh he become CEO like that. Cambridge. 
Ridiculous. Huh. Calm down, Alfred. I'm sure the board realizes by now that they were fooled. Victoria Vale. All mention of her birth name, Victoria Arkham, is completely gone. Wait, 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 wait. What's this? He also erased something from Vicky's research at the Gazette. I can't tell what was removed from here, but Wayne Tech leaves a trace when it alters data. One the bad computer can decode. What is it Miss Vale wanted to hide? Right. Records. Are we, are we already in the records? What do we have? Security. Here? They did more than just look at these schematics. Every building in Gotham with a Wayne Tech security system can be accessed from here and remotely controlled. If Oswald was the brawn, Vicky is the brains. So let's check her file. She may have left clues about what she was using Oswald's access for. Hmm. Alright, let's check out her file. Vicky Vale. Mid-30s, reported for the Gotham Gazette. And not in the public record. Her true name. Victoria Arkham. To think she was here, in the manor. She gave nothing away of her true nature then. Mm. Vicky embraced this identity to follow through on her twisted crusade. Her mask inspires fear. Not unlike Batman. True. I just need to find her. The children of Arkham. Their symbol dates back much farther than their terrorist activity. Mm. They formed to give justice for those wronged at Arkham Asylum. But the message fell on deaf ears. Until they found a leader Gotham couldn't ignore. The Gazette's records of the articles written by Vicki Vale. This record isn't complete. You're right. There are notable gaps between entries. But yet, it doesn't seem she ever left the Gazette's employ. So what was she doing in that time? This record wouldn't be easy to alter. Seeing what Oswald was up to could give us a fresh perspective. Now that we know how Oswald manipulated Vicky's records, the back computer should be able to... Ah! No more holes. She was looking into Arkham patients. Reviewing records, checking submissions prior histories she was trying to figure out who was actually sick and who was committed because of Hill Falcone and my father mm. Vicky was digging deep Gotham City records freedom of information requests post to conspiracy forums all to find it's a list Gotham buildings that use Wayne Tech security systems it's a list of targets. City Hall, Arkham Asylum, GCPD headquarters, Gotham First National. It's almost every landmark in the city. We're on to something. Vicky wants to bypass the security at a Gotham landmark. But without a man inside Wayne Enterprises, she can't unlock that door remotely. She'll have to get her hands dirty. And when she does, we'll find her. Bruce, you there? It's urgent. One of the bat prototypes has been stolen. By Lady Arkham? Not quite. I'm patching you the feed now. Oh no. Selena. She stole from you? After we opened our doors to her. After all that you two Alfred. Oh yeah. Well, that one night. Why would she do this? Is she that cold hearted? That she must have a reason, yeah. She must have her reasons. Well, I'm sure she does. She must. Yeah, stole. Sue. It's a prototype. It's an electronic skeleton key. Oh. It, you could bypass any security system made by Wayne. That's Tech. why it's perfect that for any burglary. Dangerous in I mean, at, for any burglar, Especially honestly. Especially Lady Arkham still at large. Mm -hmm. Get the car ready, Alfred. I'm going to get some answers from Selena. Hell yeah, let's go. Wayne won.
damn it. Hey, Bruce. <laughs> I wasn't expecting you. Thought I'd make it outside the city limits, at least. Clearly, my ride needs a tune-up. You should know by now not to underestimate me. I thought you might be busy with... I don't know, saving the world. I'm flattered I rank so highly. But mm. I know you're not here for me. Are you? I don't blame you for wanting it back. Although, it only seems fair that I take something from you. You didn't give a second thought when you stole my claw. At least I had the decency to steal from you when you weren't in the next room. <sighs> I don't know what I was thinking, okay? That was wrong. Well, your hindsight's 2020. <laughs> I'm surprised you had a toy like this. No doubt Batman would use it for the good of Gotham, but the less noble options are so much more exciting. Mm. Why should I give it back? So much potential. Just imagine what I'd be able to dig my claws into. That device is far too dangerous to be out in the world. True. Lady Arkham got a hold of it. That blood would be on your hands. Wow. That's pretty dramatic, Bruce. Catch. You might be exaggerating, but I'd rather not take the chance. Mark. <laughs> oh, come on. Don't pretend you're not impressed. As long cons go, this one was a beauty. Getting into Wayne Tech's lab took a lot more than cracking a safe. I had to get close to people. Your friend Harvey. Poor guy just wanted to fall in love so bad. After that, it didn't take very long to get my introduction to his BFF. <laughs> the great Bruce Wayne. Imagine my surprise when the rich playboy turned out to be Batman. Scourge of Gotham. Was it all an all just an act. Everything we've done together. A lie. That's how it started. And now it's over. I'm getting out of here while the getting's good. Gotham's a house on fire. And I'm not gonna burn with it. If you were smart, you'd get out of here too. This town hates you. Hates your entire family. Just leave it all behind. Do something more... Meaningful with those skills of yours. Like what? You don't need the money, but Gotham needs me. And I won't abandon the people of this city no matter how they feel about me. It's true. After the way they've treated you, you've got one hell of a thick skin. You're gonna need it. It'll be good to put some distance between us. After all, look at what happened to Harvey. It'd only be a matter of time before I crossed one of your lines. Isn't that right? My copy of the Boy Scout Handbook is out of date. I'm bound to break some rule. You and I may disagree on a lot of things, but I'm not worried about you. You're that sure? Bruce, I... I think I finally get what this is all about. You're upset that I'm leaving. What'd you think? That one night of sex meant we were going steady? Is that what you really thought? Well, maybe it meant nothing to you, but what happened between us meant something to me. Ah, oh, Bruce. Didn't know you were the sensitive type. Come, just stop the show, Selena. Stop pretending nothing matters. <sighs> Look, Bruce. I'll admit that what you and I had... It wasn't terrible. But you were just another job. A more... Intriguing job than I was expecting. But still a job. And that job's done. I'm done with you. It's not complicated. I'm not a good person. I'm certainly no hero, and I don't want to be. I'm a thief. That's all I am. I told you that from the start. I never pretended to be anything else. Stop. That's not true. I know Don. there's more to you than that. You're just afraid to admit it. You'd like it if that were true, wouldn't you? Why would you even think that? 
I've made my feelings pretty clear. Why aren't you listening? You saved my life. You could have left me to die back in that warehouse, but you didn't. Someone who's only out for herself, who's just a thief, wouldn't do that. Mm. Oh, yeah? Who would? A good person. That's who. A hero. You know, after I found out you were Batman, I thought nothing else could surprise me. But you just keep on surprising me. Huh. Oh, that sound. That was just like, oh. I don't get it, but the sound of kissing is so cringy. I won't need any help. I don't know why. But doing the actual well, act is not it's been fun. is fine, but like just hearing it'd be kind of cringy. Bye, Selena. Bye, bats. Bye, bats. What's up, bats? How you doing, Batman? Lucius, I've got the key. Uh, hold on, Alfred's on the line. Ooh. Hey, Alfred, I... Bruce! Lady Arkham! She's here! I, I tried to keep them out, but... We what? Alfred? Alfred! Time to get back. Let's go. Alfred! I... Goodness. Lucius, it's Bruce. He's not here. Damn it. I'm going to search for clues. Just tell me how I can help. Get over here as fast as you can. I'm on my way. We're gonna find him, Bruce. I know. Need to focus. Figure out what happened here. What happened to you, Al? Hmm. Let's see. A scuff mark. What could have caused this? Furniture scattered outwards from a single point. What did they do to you, Alfred? Ash everywhere. <laughs> Something big was thrown against this wall. Or Huge. someone. Damn, shit went down. Face was knocked over in the struggle. The fight left nothing untouched. I mean, I I wouldn't ex expect anything less from Alfred because he was in the military before. Swung so hard um, he got half. to this age and worked for as a butler. He does have combat training in a sense. Damn it! Blood pattern looks like it came off a high velocity hit. Stain my favorite pool table. What the heck? There's a scuff mark, broken lock. Oh, there's a the knife. It's been but... completely destroyed. Alfred must have barricaded himself in here. But mm. they got in anyway. Oh, that that's connected to the fireplace, definitely. How the hell? Alfred grabbed the fireplace poker to fend off an attacker. Mm. But it was knocked away. Yep, that makes more sense. Yep. Okay, we got one of the connections down. Um. Okay, someone or something was pushed over there. I think that has something to do with this. What it? Me? Alfred used the pool cue as a weapon. Broke it across his attacker's head. When that didn't stop him, he used the jagged end to stab him, spraying blood across the pool table. Mm. Okay, so... I need to find... What's the scuff mark here? Hmm. 
only connection I would be able to see is uh, this scuff mark. Lady Arkham must have used the concussion blast from her staff to try and stop Alfred. Oh, okay. I was like, that doesn't make any sense, but then that, that explains it. I know what happened. Awesome. We did. The children of Arkham broke in. Alfred barricaded himself inside the parlor. He had just enough time to grab a pool cue as a weapon before Lady Arkham blasted the doors open. Mm -hmm. He broke it across one of their heads. Then stabbed him to get away. Another assailant tackled Alfred, knocking over the vase. Alfred almost escaped, but then Lady Arkham entered the parlor, used her staff's concussion blast, scattering all the furniture in her path, throwing him against the wall by the fireplace. So Alfred grabs the nearest thing to use as a weapon to defend himself. But Lady Arkham deflected Alfred's attack, causing the poker to fly across the room and lodge into the wall. More blood on the mantle. He smashed his face into it. Oh. Wait. That picture doesn't belong there. Maybe a note's behind it. Oh. The butler did it. Password reckoning. You have no idea. Hmm. Keep a cool head, Lucius. Worrying isn't going to help Alfred. We need to focus. You're right. Let's get started. Alfred keeps adjusting his glasses. The reflection. He's making sure I see the reflection in his glasses. <laughs> he knows the bat computer can use multiple reflection angles to recreate the room that he's in. And I oh, can view the virtual. That's really cool. Good thinking, Alfred. Damn it. Still offline. I need to get this working again. What was that? <laughs> he just used the, the same place. animation as if he was sitting in the chair earlier before. Yes. That's weird. Paint us a picture. Here he we just go. has his arm up like that standing. Yeah, sure. Oh. Professional grade camera probably came from the Gazette's office. Yeah. Stairs leading up, cement walls, basement. We're in a basement. Alfred's trying to look at things that might give us a clue to where he's being held. He's wounded. Must be one of the thugs Alfred fought upstairs. Okay, looks like we've seen all there is to see in this frame. Let's move on to Alfred's next signal. You got it. Rogers Plumbing, a service company for the water heater. I can use their records to find home addresses for their clients. We're getting closer. Yeah, but we're not there yet. Doesn't seem to be anything else here. Let's keep looking. Nothing else to see here. Yeah. Moving on. Lady yeah. Arkham. Keep searching. A mason stamp. Only one Masonic Lodge in the city. Gotham City Fraternal Order of Stonemasons. So the house was built in 1945 by them. That's a big lead. Mm, Jump yeah. to Alfred's next signal. You got it. The basement window. What's Let's that stop. outside? Give me a second. 
They're by a bus stop. There we go. Okay, I think we have enough to pinpoint a location. Well, let's hope. Basements. These are all the homes serviced by this water heater company on the days and months listed. Okay, Build here for all homes built on that date. And bus stops. The bus line from this, but no stop number. This will help pinpoint the neighborhood. Bowling alley. <sighs> Damn it! Let's keep looking. Hmm. You are not going to believe this. What is it? Lady Arkham is back at the Vale House. What? Where she killed her father. <laughs> He's like, oh my god. It's a basement. <laughs> He's like, what? You know what do you say, man? But I'm without a working bat suit. Blue shoes I'm talking about, of course. Ooh, that looks really clean right there. Mm, it has prototype. cowl functionality, but outside of that. It doesn't protect much more than your identity, I'm afraid. Let's go. Good call. Thank you, Lucius. It doesn't have all the bells and whistles, but it should still scare the crap out of criminals. Let's get to work. Man, we look good. Hell this yeah. Ends tonight. Hell yeah, it does. Who's ready for the final showdown? Maybe. I don't know. I don't know if this is where we're gonna fight. Hmm. I think I, I see a triple out right there. Be careful. Yeah, I thought so. Ooh. I'm all right. There's the camera. There's no one here. No Alfred. Damn it! There's blood on the walls. I'm going to see what I can find. Standing by. Blood trail. Looks like it's le leading underneath it. The wall. There's a boot print in the blood. Lady Arkham's soldiers dragged him. The trail stops at the wall. Actually, it goes under it. Huh. Sounds like there's more to this basement than it would appear. Taking a closer look. Now let's find out where the veils were hiding. Oh yeah. Like the Kool-Aid man in this bitch. There's a small room. With a hole in the floor. A rope ladder. Anyone down there would be trapped. I'm going inside. Here we go. Foster parents, Bruce, they what's down there? Do you see out the kids no. like this? Some kind of torture chamber. And that's that's Shadows actually not things. far off from some foster homes. What? what? Vicky. She was kept down here. Locked away. Who could do that to their child? I'm beginning to understand. What is there to understand? Willfully hurt a child. It's why she killed the Veils. They abused her. I'm not saying what she did was right, but but I can't imagine what she went through. Mm -hmm. The Veils' foster children may not have been the only ones to suffer here. I followed Alfred's blood into this hole. If he had any opportunity at all, he would have left me a clue. 
They yeah. are drawings. Vicky must have drawn them when she was a prisoner. The chalk here is different, newer. piece apart from the others. Red. Mm. The same color as my tag. Ah, oh, this is the connection. That's cool. Maybe... Oh. Those towers. That must be Arkham Asylum. Words. They're highlighted. Letters. It said letters. Me. But it was words. What? Taking me to Arkham. I see. Alfred left me another clue. This is what he wanted me to find. To see. He spelled it out here. Taking me. And used Vicky's own drawing of Arkham for the location. Mm, smart. But people would know. Because he's Staff not that here. great of an artist. That's Let me tell you that piece. for sure. Arkham. She's been using Wayne Enterprises to get access to the buildings with Wayne Tech security systems, including Arkham Asylum. She's going to open the doors, release the inmates, and she took Alfred with her. Oh. Gordon and the GCPD. I'm on it. Lady Arkham won't be expecting us. We'll catch her by surprise. Let's go then. I think this should be where the final showdown goes off. If she's here, then that definitely is the case. Oh, wow. Nice drift, man. That's the last of it, then. The children of Arkham have taken over. Lieutenant Gordon says the GCPD are on their way. He's leading the team himself. If you can find Alfred, maybe you can get him out of there before all hell breaks loose. Almost ready. Let her know. Copy. On our way. Go ahead. I got this. Uh -huh. Ninja moves. Batman. Hell yeah. This ends now, Vicky. Tell me where Alfred Pennyworth is. The butler. Bruce Wayne has a bat on his people. Answer the question. Where he is doesn't matter. He'll be dead soon. Mm. Another corpse in Bruce Wayne's family. Killing him won't solve anything. But it will teach Bruce Wayne a lesson. When he and all of Gotham will learn, they won't look the other way. Not again. And when did Gotham look away from you, Vicky? Don't try to psychoanalyze me, Batman. You have no idea what I've done to come this far. I have a little bit of an idea. I want you to turn back now. I know you suffered. You were tortured, held captive by the people who were supposed to love you. I don't know how you survived. You wouldn't know how I survived. I survived. Because every night, I dreamed of the revenge I'd take on them. Mm. And this forsaken city. Your time's run out. Vicky! Nothing you can do, Batman. You underestimate the true children of Arkham. These souls kept behind bars. Oh no. Open the doors. Ah uh, no. Arkham, listen to me. Freedom is yours. The only one standing in your way is Batman. Up in there. He stuck me in here! Me too. 
the mirada. Here we go. Strike! I love it. That was a great strike. Perfect. Let's keep her going. Ooh. Ooh, yeah, there we go. Batman! The entire security system's offline. Every inmate's loose. The leader of the children of Arkham. Did you see her? They went. That was fast. Such chaos. Well, I thought she's just walking through it. You're not getting away, Vicky. Analyze the scene we had got here, and uh. There we go. I don't know why I was clicking the button there. <laughs> Where's it going? Um. We'll settle for that. Him. Okay, let's get to work. You Ooh. Oh no. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, man. Victor. That's the plan. Gordon. You are going to die. Yeah, I thought I saw him sitting there. <laughs> I thought I saw that, and I was like, wait, that can't be it. Jesus. Get to work. Oh. Gordon's here. We'll round up the rest of the inmates. You stop Lady Arkham. Oh, him. Up, oh, Vicky, Icky, 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 Vicky, you oh, so Icky, but the bit of the babe. All the people that Thomas Wayne condemned to this place unwillingly, they speak through the walls. Their ghosts walk. They know the way. I can't help mm. those people now. But they I know the way. They know the way. Take me to him. My pleasure. Wait, what? It made no sense. What? 
What? She was right there in that scene, and that she wasn't. Gotta find Alfred. Vicky. This, this is nuts. There's an underground tunnel system. You're not well, Vicky. You need professional help. <laughs> Says the man dressed as a bat. <laughs> wow, didn't see that one coming. Let him go. The butler has to die. Payment for Thomas Wilson. He took away my family, so I'll take away his sons. Hmm. If you really want to save the butler, bring me Bruce Wayne. If anyone can find him, it's you. He's probably cowering behind a 12-inch thick wall and a hundred bodyguards right now. Why should I trust you'll keep your word? Because my mask is off now, Beck. I won't lie. You're doing so much for one old man. Mm. Ooh. Oh, she booby traps. Stop playing games. This isn't a game to me. You know, Batman, I really don't understand. Why are you fighting me? I've done great things for God. Falcone and Hill deserved to die. If anything, I did you a favor. We're fighting the same fight, Batman. Can you see that? Those men deserved their day in court, just like everyone else. So they could have gotten off like they did so many times before? But Falcone wasn't gonna get off. Batman. They got exactly the Do your research, woman. Mm. You shouldn't be here. You shouldn't be defending him. Hmm? You think Bruce Wayne is any better than this one? He hides behind his status and wealth. He's a coward, leaving other men to carry his burdens. Ooh. No biggie. I'm not gonna smash. Curious, Batman. I know why I wear the mask. It's who I am. Who I was always meant to be. What about you? Do you wear the mask to hide? Or to become who you really are? Are you the man? Or the mask? Batman is who I am. Who I need to be. To do what must be done. If that's what you believe, you're lying to yourself. You wear the mask so that you can't be held accountable. And once you're dead, I'm going to mount that mask on my wall. But first, I'll see the man beneath. Go, 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 go. I'll show down time. This is like a church An altar. Must be something ancient. Oh. Did know the kid. Hold on, Alfred. Uh, you, you, you came. Came for me. Uh, after what you said, I knew you'd come. The man, the man I, I made you. Just hold on, Alfred. Did you see where she went? Uh, she just dis disappeared. Just Under like you me. always do, man. Above you. Here we go. <laughs> Interesting how you speak to him. So familiar. Alfred? Such concern for someone you've never met before. It's called compassion, Vicky. Something you seem to know very little about. Sounds like deflection to me. 
There's more here than you're telling. It makes me wonder, do you really care? Only one way to find out. Oh. Batman, don't you... Shut up, old man! You've seen my true self. Your turn. Prove that you can. Oh, you're gonna be shocked. It's the only. It's the only way to save Alfred. That's what it will take to save him. Is this gonna be a real shocker to him? Her? <laughs> <laughs> Didn't see this one coming, did you, Vicky? No, Bruce. Bruce. This must be some kind of trick. <laughs> Bruce Wayne, he—he'd never be the man Batman is. Hmm. He only looks out for himself. Huh, clearly I don't. Oh, but of course. <laughs> now I understand. As Batman, you can prey upon the weak, the defenseless, just like your father did. A true Wayne. <laughs> There's nothing heroic about you. You're right about my father. The things he did are unforgivable. But I am trying to make up for his crimes. I wear this mask to help people. I'm not some naive socialite you can sweet talk. I know a liar when I see one. Hmm. Oh. Ouch. Chunk of our ear is gone. Let's get to work. Final showdown time. Yeah, that did great. Oh, Alfred. Let's go. Ding ding! The only truth left is in your death. Let's bring it. Booby. Oh. Is your leg? Shifty. There we go. Oh. I'll bury you. Oh, sure you will. Ouch, Jesus. Ooh. There it is. Ooh. That was smart. I approve. Stop, Vicky. It's over. Nothing will keep me from my revenge. Finally, we deflect her kicks. Oh, block that. Block that. Block that. That. Ooh. You belong in this place, Bruce. Lost, forgotten, buried, and Gotham will not mourn. The sins of the Wayne bloodline end here. Come on, me, Finisher. Oh yeah. 
Oh no, her wings are dead. Down. Shit. Oh no. Gotta go get Alfred. Gotta go get Alfred. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Get out of here. Oh, too bad, because you'll never get the chance to try. <laughs> Come on. Wow. Wow. A week later. As to last week's events at Arkham Asylum, a spokesperson for the GCPD assured us that the breakout has been contained and all inmates have been returned to their cells. Miss Vale is missing and presumed dead following a gruesome battle with the caped vigilante known only as the Batman. Her death marks the end of Children of Arkham's reign of terror. <sighs> If the public knew the half of it, it's better that they don't. Uh, this came in the mail. It's unsigned. Selena. Hmm. With everything that's been going on, I, I haven't gotten a chance to thank you for what you did, sacrificing your identity for my safety. But... Uh, it was a dangerous thing to do. You could lose everything. The secrecy you've worked so hard to maintain, gone. Without you, none of this would work. You are my family. <sighs> you don't know how good it is to hear you say that. After everything that's happened. And your ear? At least there's something left of it. <laughs> And Dr. Tompkins assured me it adds character. <laughs> that it does. We will get through this, Bruce. Don't lose sight of the fact that you've done some real good for Gotham. You should be proud. Gotham is safer now. I only hope the peace will last. We could all use some peace. To peace. Peace. The damage done by the children of Arkham has left Gotham a city in turmoil. Faith in those at the top has perhaps irrevocably been shaken. Acting Commissioner James Gordon has promised to speak out about the issue tonight during an emergency citywide address. And I hope, despite the recent terror that's gripped our city, that Gotham's leading citizens will come out to show their support. Will his token appointment be enough to regain the city's trust? It remains to be seen. But experts agree that... Gordon requested Gotham's leaders to stand behind him. Leaders like you. Let Gotham see who Bruce Wayne truly is. And let them know what you plan to do for his future. Well, this could be a fresh start. For you, and for this city. Though, in Gotham, the only figure that can make as much impact as a Wayne... ...is Batman. You've helped this city tremendously, both as Bruce Wayne and Batman. And that person, whether he dons a cape or not, is someone I'm proud of and honored to call my friend. Thank you, Alfred. So, what do you intend to do about tonight? Well, Lucius has yet to invent a suit that'll let Bruce Wayne and Batman be in the same place at once. That is unfortunate. I suppose you must decide whose appearance will be more valuable. 
As Bruce, you can help repair the damage done to your name, get the public support so that you can change things from the top down. But Batman is a symbol of justice and strength. Maybe in these dark times, that is truly what Gotham needs the most. Perhaps one is truly Stanley's Batman will be in attendance. You'll make quite the impression. Gordon will be grateful. Hmm. Currently awaiting newly appointed acting police commissioner James Gordon, who will address the city for the first time in the wake of the terrorist attacks perpetrated by Lady Arkham. I, as acting police commissioner, Commissioner Gordon. It doesn't sound right. Batman! Is everything all right? I assume you're not here to give a speech. So, what is it? It's an important day. Your first address to the city as acting commissioner. I wanted you to know that I stand with you. I want Gotham to know that there are those who will fight for them. Oh, I'm glad you feel that way. The city's on edge. Tonight can make all the difference. You're one hell of an addition to this lineup. Gotham's best and brightest have turned out for this. I, mean, I know you're not a man of many words, but I'd like to say something to Gotham on your behalf. Is there anything you'd like them to know? Maybe about how you'd like to be seen moving forward? Tell them I'll always be watching out for them. I'm sure they'll appreciate hearing that. You know, I always wanted this. To be commissioner someday. To have the chance to shape this. <laughs> Wouldn't be bad though, without a disappearing act, that, you know? I know? Yeah, probably. But you never will. Now, in the last few weeks, as much violence and terror as I've seen, I've also seen the citizens of this community band together to fight those threats. One of those citizens is Batman. He wanted me to tell you all that he'll be watching, ensuring the safety of our good citizens. But one hero cannot change Gotham on his own. He needs all of you, too. Let Gotham be a city of heroes. United, strong, and hopeful. Oh no. ago, Acting Commissioner James Gordon delivered a rousing speech that turned into a shocking assassination attempt on his life. Batman made short work of the assassin. Oh boy, it's gonna be tough to top that. But I'll give it a shot. <laughs> huh. Episode 5, City of Light. Wow. I have to say, that was a great way to end the series. Alright, so let's see the choices in the final episode. Did you successfully distract Penguin? Yes, we did. 76% of people did. Um, did you blame your Alfred for his involvement with Thomas Wayne? We were on the majority with 27.7%. We were in the majority for, uh... Um, we said we regarded her Selena as more of a thief. Um, more than a thief. Um, did you take off the cowl? Yes, we did. We were on the majority of that as well. Um, we weren't on the majority of attending the Gordon's address as Bat Batman. Um, most people went as Bruce. But that was a great, great ending. Let's get our, se our season overview. Let's see it. 
we were on more on the compassionate side. Um, we were 54% uh, merciful, 52% honest, and 83% collaborative. And that's uh, the crusade to defend Gotham is about helping people, being a beacon of hope in a dark world, to use one's strengths to lift up people up instead of just beating the villains down. But yeah. Is there anything else? No, that's it? Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the series. If you did, please leave a like on all the episodes. And uh, all links w in the beginning of this episode will be in the description below. Um, next week, we'll be starting uh, this Batman Telltale series season 2, The Enemy Within. And we'll be starting with episode 1, and then 2, and 3 is going to be coming out later this month. So we'll probably do that uh, when we get to around to it. And uh, then we'll just have to wait for those at 4 and 5 to come out. But... I hope you did, guys enjoyed. Um, also, if you're not following me on Twitter, follow me so you know when uh, new episode, new vi videos are coming out. If they're delayed, if they're not. Um, also, if I'm working on any special side projects. Also, uh, hit the subscribe button if you haven't yet to become part of Bernicus Legion. Um, we are growing. We are at 148 as of making this video. It does fluctuate. But I, I, I'm so glad that enough people do come and watch my videos, although it's not that many views per video. It still warms my heart to see other people enjoying me enjoying playing games. But yeah, that's all I have to say for today. And uh, I think either Friday or Saturday is the next ep part of Batman Arkham City. And as always, I'll play with you guys. <laughs> I'll play with you guys, game with you guys, and talk to you guys later. Stay awesome. Oh, Batman. I'll see you next time.